All right, so this is the uh, second sort of two column solution that we're gonna do, having to do with the two things that we learned about um, last time, and also the newer lesson, which is the triangle angle sum and the angle addition postulate. So what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna start with all my givens. So my givens are this guy here. So he told me the angle of CFI is equal to 35 degrees, so CF I is here. No, CFI is actually up here. And then um, angle A, which is 35 degrees, or 50. And what we're looking for is we're looking for IBA. We're looking for this guy right here. Okay, so that's our that's our mission. Now the other thing the diagram does show us is it shows us that it shows that this is 90 degrees. So I also know that the measure of angle FCI is equal to 90 degrees. So all that good stuff was given, and now I'm ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here because I know what CFI is, and I know what this is. So I actually have two of the angles to this triangle right here. So... The measure of angle um, CFI plus the measure of angle FCI plus the measure of angle FIC equals 180 degrees. And that is because of the triangle angle sum. All those angles will, in the interior of a triangle, add to 180 degrees. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of substituting. So these are the two things that they told me. Okay, so I know what this one is, and I know what this one is. So all I got to do is put a 35 for that one, and 90 for that one, So that's just substitution. All right, so these two guys here are going to come to 125. So you could, you know, do the steps where you add them up, then do, you know, additive inverse like in algebra. But in geometry, you don't have to do that. You can actually just subtract this and then subtract this at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's going to be um, 100 or 55 degrees. Okay, and you always double check this. In the in the previous video I just did, I could have actually checked. I made a little mistake, but then I fixed it. But see, I can add this, this, and this, and make sure it comes out to 180. So 55 plus 35 is 90, and 90 and 90 is 180. So I know I'm good. All right, so that was the subtraction property of equality. All right, so now I know FIC, which is this guy. Now I know that the angle. FIC is equal to the measure of angle AIB, which is this one on the other side because it's vertical. So then I write the definition of vertical angles. And you can, for, instead of writing angle, you can make the little angle symbol, well, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute this. So what I'm doing is I know this is 55, so I can put that right there. So I know 55 degrees is equal to the measure of angle AIB. Now they also told me angle A, which is this one over here, is equal to 50. So I now have this angle and I have this angle, and using my triangle angle sum, I can actually figure out what that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up an equation for that. So I know that the measure of angle AIB plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of the one I'm looking for, which is IBA, is equal to 180 degrees. And that is the triangle angle sum theorem. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute. I know this one is 55. I know this one is 50. And I'm trying to figure out this one. 
So that's just substitution. These two here come to 105. Okay, and then I can subtract that. So I kind of did it in two steps here, but that's okay. You can always, nothing wrong with showing more work. It's always if you show less. All right, so that was the um, subtraction property of equality. So you can see I figured out the measure of angle IBA.